and Somni Hero Summer AFK Arena. Before we get into the video, go ahead and click on subscribe, turn on notifications so you can stay up to date. Let me know in the comments what you think. Today we're actually going to be looking at Gwyneth, and I believe I can get her to Mythic, and we want to unlock her signature item, see what kind of damage she does. So let's go ahead and get into the video. You know from some of my other videos we picked up another copy of her from the celestial isles um, we got our free copy that lilith gave us and then i also did pick up a copy just a little bit ago with my um faction summons for my uh light bearer so let's go ahead and look at the temple of ascensions and there she is finally hero that i've been focused on since she's come out and i want to see if it has been worth it so we'll go ahead and we'll ascend her Let's move over to Mythic, quite a bit more hit points, about 20,000. Attack goes up by about 2,000. In defense, it, I kind of compared her to my other heroes. Defense on her is quite a bit low, so definitely backline hero. Um, I don't see her with the ability to tank, but that does move her to Mythic. And as you can see, her shining up her long longbow there. So now we unlocked her signature item, which I believe is her bow. So let's take a look at her, and she is right there. Signature item, the Shooting Star. Accuracy plus 10, attack point 8, hit points point 3. Attack rating is raised 10% when close to proximity to allied heroes. So that will be nice. I'm not sure if it affects if she's just in the back row or how close she really has to be. But we unlocked her bow, so we'll go ahead. I think we have one more. We'll get her attack up a little bit. I'll go ahead and gear her up, which I was pretty surprised when I got her that she does wear strength gear. So uh, to get her in the strength gear position, I've actually um, swapped her out for Lucius. It was either Lucius or Baden, so I swapped her out for Lucius. Um, had Baden tanking, so we'll go ahead and we'll set up our team and then I'll show you the team and I'll get all ready to go. So got her signature item unlocked. I did grab some gear for her, which is pretty good. The Mythic Plus gear, most of it's pretty max. Um, Durance Conviction is what I put on her for the accuracy. It seems like that's going to be the most important as well as the attack rating. <clears throat> her crit is really low, actually only 17%. When you look at a lot of casters or a lot of other DPS, it is much higher. Physical Resist is pretty high though. So we're going to go ahead and get into the first fight, which I wanted to do Riz. I know she does have the her ultimate ability as an AoE, so I'm not sure how effective that her damage is going to be, but we'll actually just swap out Rain. We'll swap her in, and this is usually my comp that I run for with Riz. So we'll see if it makes a big difference with her arrows. I love her animation. Electric arrows, and there is the Rain of Arrows. So we'll see exactly where her damage comes in on this fight. Shamir is just pumping it out with Rosaline. And she gets her ultimate off actually pretty quick. Usually Rain, even being at three stars, dies every single time. I want to see how effective her attacks really are. Looks like damage-wise she's not doing much, but then again Rain doesn't pull that much damage. So single target, she might not be the most, she might not be the strongest on a single target, but on multiple, may make a big difference, especially being this geared up. She is surprisingly, like I said, rain usually dies long before this. She's not even hardly taken any damage at all. So it might be an option for her to tank. So let's see where she pulled her damage at. 14 million, which isn't very high. I mean, that's that's considerably low. But let's go ahead and give it one more shot. Number two, we put her in the middle. So I want to see, because Rosalind should run down to be right next to uh, Shamira. So I'm not sure the proximity that she needs to increase her damage with her signature item. But... First attempt, not too hot on the damage. So we'll see if maybe this is going to be uh, quite a bit more. 
I think she'll be pretty good. It's just finding out the team comp that's going to work with her. So we'll take a look at her abilities. But like I said, from Riz's ultimate ability, she really doesn't take any damage. Which is interesting because most of the DPS, when you run rain or anything like that, is she just kind of dies right off the bat. So again, it's pretty interesting. Looks like this one is going to be a lot more damage. For some reason, I wonder if switching her spot in the team made that much of a difference for her to be in the middle. Because we hit 99 million, we're going to fly right by it this time. So even there, she stays up. Absolutely no problem. One thirty one. So not too bad. Let's take a look. She did fifteen million, which is pretty good. Except she doesn't bring any buffs to the team. That could be the problem. So let's go ahead and just take a quick rundown of her abilities. Because I'm gonna actually run the labyrinth with her as well and see how well she does. I know she does AoE damage, so the right half of the screen or the Damage that the side of the enemies are on reduces their accuracy. Uh, damage increased by 240%. Her second ability is Flaming Arrow. Normal attack by 60% 60 ch 60 chance to become Flaming Arrows that burn the enemy for 40%. Health recovery is reduced. Normal attacks by 70% if it becomes a Flaming Arrow. Enemy's health recovery is reduced. So not much damage in that attack. Lightning Arrow. Normal attacks have a 60% Chance to become a lightning arrow that damages multiple enemies, so it's going to be AoE damage just like her ultimate. A stunning target enemies and enemies hit by lightning. So she's going to be really good in the campaign or even in the uh, labyrinth. And her final one is accuracy is raised by 80% and crit is raised by 25% if there are no enemies. Then level 2, accuracy is raised by 120% and critical strike is raised by 25%. So strength in numbers might be a big ability. It seems like she is not going to be effective at all for Riz. So we'll go ahead and we'll run through some of the Arcane Labyrinth. And we'll see how well she does on this team. So I can actually swap Falks out for her just for CC purposes. And we'll see how well she does here. And I know at this level, as you can see, when they light up bright red, they're on fire, so let's see what she did here. Ah, uh, she did the same exact damage as Shamira. So let's go ahead and run through a couple more. I just want to see, we'll pick something that's going to affect all of them. So we'll go through and see. So it seems like AoE is going to be the damage for her. And especially with her ultimate, just hammer on the other side. So this battle she did next to nothing. Go ahead and run two more here. Oh, she's going to get CC'd right off the bat. Let's try that again. Didn't even see who was over there. So let's swap it so she can actually get some arrows off. There's her ultimate. Which even her ultimate doesn't seem to do that much damage. She got her ultimate off twice on that. Like I said, for the gear that she has, this is pretty disappointing. So there she did 1.2, so Shamir did double her damage on that one. Let's do one final one. Because even though I think Shamir only got her ultimate off once, and I believe Gwyneth did it twice, so there's her flame arrow. Then in that one was Shamir. Let's go ahead and try this one more time, and I'm going to drop Shamira out. Drop out Shamira. Let's put in Falks. 
and see what we get on this one. So ultimate does catch them on fire as well, which is pretty good for damage over time. But I think overall pretty disappointing on the uh, her abilities and the damage that she's doing. So even here, even though Falx is quite a bit higher, but she is geared. Nope, not too much damage. So unfortunately, just a little highly disappointed with her. Let's check her out. Yep. <clears throat> so got her signature ability. Let me know if you guys are using her and if you've seen her significantly better or where you're using her at. Because even then, her tech's pretty low, 36k. Where I think most everybody else has about the same, 40. Without gear, 58, so a little bit higher there. But even looking here, she's at 30. Blade is at 36, but she's Mythic Plus. Rowan's quite a bit lower. So it looks like, unfortunately, well, not quite as much damage as I thought she would be doing, even though the AoE damage is there. Um, after looking on a couple forums, talking to a people, couple people on Discord, they said when her signature item unlocks to level 20, so ability effects are raised by 50% when in close proximity to allied heroes, that's when she really starts to shine is when you unlock her to 20. Unfortunately, I'm a long ways out, off from getting her that high, but they said she's pretty useless until you hit level 20 and then she really starts to shell out the damage because it... The ability effects are raised by 50%, so 50% more damage by all of her arrows. So that would be the point, kind of the breaking point of making her really effective in endgame. But if you're using her, let me know in the comments what you guys think. And thank you guys for watching.